Hi, my name is Karl. I'm a filmmaker and journalist from Berlin, Germany. I reported uh, on a story surrounding issues of an isolated people. Uh, isolated people are indigenous people who mainly live in South America, in the Amazon uh, rainforest, and they have no or little contact to the outside world. And the name of uh, this isolated people is the Mashkupiro. And during the last, I would say, 10-15 years, the Mashkupiro have begun to seek contact uh, with the outside world. And contact means that they were going into villages and they were looking for things. Things like machetes, pots, pans or plantains. Things uh, which they didn't have in their environment and for reasons we don't know, they started to develop a desire for these things. And that led to conflict with indigenous communities. And um, there was violence, there, was also, uh, there were also murders. And so the Peruvian Ministry of Culture decided to intervene. So the, the a team was assembled of anthropologists and indigenous people who speak a language which is similar to the language the isolated people speak. And they tried to establish a dialogue. They wanted to respect their wish to remain uncontacted, but at the same time they wanted to find out what their motivations were uh, to suddenly go into villages looking for things and to break with their taboo, which after all is avoiding contact with, if I can say so, the out outside world. Uh, and I, over several years, I and a colleague, we were traveling to the Amazon and uh, we were filming with the anthropologists how they tried to establish that dialogue and try to find out uh, about the way of life of uh, this isolated people. So that meant they had to find a sort of common base uh, uh, on which they could communicate. In that project I learned a lot what separates us as, as cultures but also what unites us as cultures. And for me that was a very important takeaway because if we think about you know, the communities of the cities we live in, uh, it's on a micro scale often the very same. You know, we are all human beings, but we are not all the same. And there are conflicts, and these conflicts often arise out of a misunderstanding of the other, the other culture. The main issue in my film uh, uh, was uh, that I was doing a documentary on an isolated people. Uh, so the Mashko Piro don't have contact with the outside world and they also have indirectly shown to us that they do not want that contact. Now in recent years they have broken with that taboo, they have act actively looked for that contact. But for me as a filmmaker in the very beginning it was very very clear that I do not enter, intrude or enter into their territory and film them directly and film them up close. So I was doing a film uh, where my subject couldn't be filmed. Uh, and, and for me, ethically, that was very, very clear. It, it was non-negotiable that I, I would not film them. Uh, but that meant I had to find other ways. So uh, my idea was to find out about uh, people who somehow knew about them or accidentally met them or actually, that was the case of missionaries, were deliberately uh, trying to contact them. Uh, and I tried to piece together an image of the Mashko Piro indirectly so that I wouldn't violate their wish to remain uncontacted. Uh, and that was also uh, a big challenge amongst the many challenges we had in that, uh, in that documentary. It doesn't really matter what your interests are. Um, I think if you are, if you are curious, uh, then you will find your stories. So my advice is really follow your curiosity and do not stop asking questions. And uh, don't stop at the superficial level. Always continue asking questions and go deeper and deeper and deeper. And then you will find underreported stories because the more questions you you ask you at some point will ask questions nobody else has asked uh, so that's what I would advise you to do follow your curiosity and and 
and allow to be taken away and then you will find that that life itself will, will, will present you with the most amazing stories nobody has ever looked at.